Uh -huh. Okay, I hope this won't take way too long. Let's check the next part of this quest because they are blocking again the path to the reputation quests. Although I'm not sure if it will get in the way or if I can just talk to her there. Yeah, it will get in the way. Uh, uh, what do we do now, Elfrazy? The letter says that this is the second threat now. What do you mean second? Was there a first one? Yeah, we should have brought that sooner. Elfrazy, we're here. Just the people I wanted to see. Did you find anything useful? We discovered that Sir Arthur was stolen by a woman who calls herself Crow or Blackbird. Uh, she seems to have a grudge against you. She left a threatening letter at the scene. Someone took it, but we retrieved it. Like, even story-wise, that was like two days ago. What? There was really an initial threat? May I take a look? What could this be? Ah, I've read this already. Uh, uh, what do you remember, Frazy? Uh, please take a look at this first. We received a second threat this morning. The Sanders seemed very agitated. Outrageously, another mysterious threat letter. Outrageously, it's, it would seem that your paper has a shred of remorse. Have not yet caught the attention of the authorities. I made good on my promise by dismembering Sir Arthur and burying him in a field. Burying with him are your paper's evil deeds from 30 years ago. Furthermore, I have spread the word. Treasure maps or clues to Dr. Mosso's base shall surely make the treasure hunters come flocking, no? Soon your misdeeds shall come to light alongside the bird's remains. Crow or Blackbird. Shouldn't she just take this, those misdeeds to the public? To the police and stuff? Oh no, Sir Arthur. Sir Arthur shouldn't have to suffer. We never received the first letter. It's all Baller's fault. Yeah, not the horse at all. I just received news that they're organizing treasure hunting groups. They're probably after Dr. Mosso's base. But they are only going to find that this member Sir Arthur and the unspeakable things that the paper did, I guess. Agent Tal Charge, I know that the Marshal Sipenton has a file on the case, but believe me, there are things that even you don't know. Uh, do you know who sent the letter? If I were to guess, it would be Melo Lombroso. Uh, Dr. Moses' uh, granddaughter. Granddaughter? So it's a relative coming back for revenge. And then you would seem that Crow or Blackbird is a question from her. Question. Everyone, time is of the essence right now. Regardless of the authenticity of what's written in those letters, the reputation of the paper will be tarnished if they are published. We will please retrieve this, those things for us. In the meantime, I will contact Melo immediately. In that case, I have a request too, a phrasing. You know about the clues to Dr. Mosso's base, yes? Uh, you want that? I mean, I do know something, but I can guarantee that it will help your case. I can promise that I will tell you everything I know after this is over. It might answer some of your questions. Will that work? Sounds good to me. Any questions? I'm ready to go. Wait, if anyone has a question, there are three locations on the map, but where are we going first? The closest one. We don't have time, why don't we split up? Perv and I will go to one location, and Pyro and Ignus will go to another. Whoever finishes first will go to the last place. Seems like we don't have a choice. I mean, those other two could go to the third place. Uh, the second letter sent in Crow Blackbird used to threaten the street team bird, but without Bollard, it proved successful this time. 
grow them out. Oh, by the way, let me get those. Uh, yeah. This would be a domain. Maybe it is. Come on, Boland. Uh, you can do it. Kevin, what are you doing here? We know him. Kevin. Ah, he's the boy from us. Okay. The boy that stole the god knife. Uh, Pymo Inus, are you here looking for Sir Arthur and the treasures? If Kevin knows, that means everyone knows. Well, uh, I'm not here for the treasures. I just want to send Sir Arthur back. Does your mother know? Yes, she came with me, but we split up. Oh, and I had to thank you, both of you. Did he have a dog? I don't remember. After he left the other day, I thought about it for a long time. Then I went to look for my mom, and we talked about a lot of things. So you and mom made up. My mom was wondering why you were so polite today. Good for you. Uh, let's look for Sir Arthur, quick. I think he must have been hidden somewhere. Tricky. It usually doesn't take Bola very long to find something. Uh, oh no, Lom Lombroso was the name of the other dog. Yeah, the drunk, drunk guy. Mm. This dog looks familiar. Is, isn't this Rocher's puppy? I don't know, they all look the same. It does look a little like that one. All the dogs look the same. Rocher, my mother gave me this dog, and I called it Boland. I mean, that's actually my father's name, and I wasn't mad at him at the time. I got into a fight with my mom previously, and I want to vent my anger on the dog and kicking him out. Good thing I found him again today. Huh? Ah, okay. Wait, so are you Boland or Ambroso? Both. Puppy wags its tail excitedly as if saying, I don't understand. Uh, whatever the case, we just need to find Sir Arthur as soon as possible. We are at the location marked on the map, but where could the bird be? Hmm. If only whoever hid it had left something behind, Bolan has amazing nose and can find things quickly after sniffing. Right, Inus, look at your bag and see if there's anything you can use. I don't even remember what I had. Kevin? Does you have anything that Boland can sniff at? Mm. It looks at you as if waiting for something. What was that? Not sure. Pedestal. Do I have the pedestal with me? The knife. Uh, oh, oh. Okay. Sword. Uh, is that one? Uh, I don't remember where I got that. But am I carrying that with me? Oh no, irrelevant. Button. The clue that. <laughs> Ah, the letter. Yeah, okay. I wanted to get something from the bird. 
but no, it's from whoever hit it. Oh, you got it. Bolan must have found something. The paper box is still exactly as if saying it's in there. Is it in the hole? But the entrance is too small. How do you get in? You can do it, Paimon. I can do it. Let me do it. I don't want her pretty close to get dirty. Paimon can let you do that. What if there's something scary inside? I'm, pro I'm a problem kid, so I'm not scared of anything. Just wait. I'll be right out. Oh, I thought it would be a dungeon. Yeah, he swiftly climbs into the hole and drags a chest. Uh, found it. Really is inside. You've changed a lot, Kevin. You're helping other people with their problems. Thank you. Uh, let's see what's inside the chest. Just Sir Arthur's like wing. Uh, clockwork wing that belonged to Sir Arthur. What well, the criminal did was unforgivable. Okay, and we ditched Kevin. Oh, hang on. Some text just appeared. Go on. You skipped the previous one. Yeah, great. Uh, what is nearby? Is this it? It's this location. Ah, oh, there it is. Has been the device was just ready for raise up to size. Uh, we will put in academic uh, basic money school being generators and receivers. Oh, okay, uh, I'll do that some other time. That was text. Oh no, some manga here for us, they're fighting for treasure. Uh, let's try and get some stuff. Gather. Bow your head. Ah, just one guy. Why? Ah, okay. Now I know this who you guys are. Stop, I surrender. Ah, well, what a coincidence. Are you here for the treasure too? Why are you all here? Don't you believe me? Uh, Valberry, we're here to look for Sir Arthur. Are you here for the treasure? Uh, I knew this dirty dog would come for the treasure if he heard about the news. And I got him. Mm, agents, may I... May I have at the chest? I'm looking for Sir Arthur. And if I can return it to the newspaper, I might just be able to get a job. Then I can make some money and buy my wife's things back. Uh, how pathetic. Usher, you really think that's why your wife left you? She left you because you are such a pushover. Set up for yourself like you did just now. And she might look at you differently. Really? Of course. Now be brave and let them have the treasure. Or your wife won't be with you even in your next life. Uh, don't say that. Take it easy. They're nice people. You help them, they'll pay you back. In that case, thank you. And please take this. Lord, looking at me. It's her Arthur's body. Oh, so cruel. And is there anything else? Then it should be in the final place. Well then, come on, we're heading to the next place. Uh, Lombroso, where did you run off to? I thought you didn't need me anymore. The coffee box is there exactly, I just saying, uh, how is that possible? Lombroso, uh, Mr. Rocha, are you mistaken? His name is Boland. What? If the, it isn't for Lombroso's companionship, I wouldn't have made it this far. How could I be mistaken? Not like I can be mistaken either. What's going on here? 
Uh, can he belong to you both? Seeing as even I had more than one home. Uh, that makes sense. Kevin accidentally drove the puppy away before, right? Maybe that's when he met Russia and they began roaming around together. Uh, is that really what happened? The good boy still excitedly as if saying, that's right. Well, Barry, uh, you got some nerve. The dog wouldn't forget its two owners. And as for you, you betray your own boss twice. You scheming dog, I'm going to hand you over to the Marshal Sequenton and take you down with me. Uh, farewell, friends. Come visit me in the Fortress of Merapi someday. Yeah, it's quite possible if we will find him there. Who the heck wants to visit you there? Well, never mind. Forget about them. We need to hurry up and get to the last place. Oh, Kevin and Russia are going to fight for the puppy? No way. I was the one who really messed up. Bolland can stay wherever he was from now. I'm fine with that too. Lombros supported me when I was at my worst. I'll support him too. Let's get going then. Yes, why we don't want anyone to beat us to it. But wouldn't the medals seem to be there already? Back with body belongs to Arthur. What the criminal did was unforgivable. Stabilize! Okay, it's here too. Over here. Huh? Is it safe? It is. Ah, um, but we can dive in here. Okay, but I don't think this has to do with what I'm looking. Gather. Uh, it could actually be below. Uh, I should have followed the the road. There's a good chance you'll be down below. Step on us. Oh no. Bad line. Uh I guess that's it. I'll say it again, get out of my way. I'm going to see Boland. We're all co-workers here. There's no need to get rough. No, I'd like to see how good you are now that you've become a mother, Madeline. Oh, she was a f from with the Fatui for. Don't underestimate mothers. Curve, let's go. Let's begin. I know it's quickly. The tide's This isn't good. That was a way so burst. Your mode switched off. Uh Paimon, and as you came, and you brought Russia and Kevin. Where's Russia? Where's Russia? Looks like you're doing well, but we've encountered a hiccup. Madame Madeline and Kevin's father are both members of the Fatui. I'm so Oh, Boland is... What a coincidence. I'm sorry that we hid it from you before. We just wanted to live a peaceful life. Fatui, Kevin, did you know about this? Yeah, it turns out that Papa wasn't avoiding being at home. He was actually working. I was wrong about him. This was one of his father's lessons, I mean, he was ordered to find Dr. Smoso's base. Once he was done, he would be able to retire early. But I had a bad feeling after you came, I wanted him to give up this mission. 
Wait, find the base, retire earlier, Kevin Father is the peripheral personnel, Bollard. That's the one uh, we only just found out that Bollard is a code name. He's, ac he's actually Kevin's father, Mr. Bolland. I saw a letter before between Mama and another man signed with the name Bollard. I didn't realize it was my father. No wonder it was so lovey dovey. I'm glad it was in Russia. <laughs> Everyone's relationships are complicated enough without a twist like that. So where's Bolan now? He removed some objects from the chest when the Fatui stopped us just before. Detected a figure running away in the distance. He just left her? Ah, it's Papa, he's fleeing. Oh, come on, hurry, don't let him get away. Uh, I think he got stuck. Oh. Oh. No, stop chasing me. Why are you always going after me? We want to know why you're always running away. Just stop it, Bolland. Madeline, why? I did my homework. You're on a mission for, for a certain Lord Harbinger, aren't you? And it's a dangerous one, too. A Harbinger? Which one? I don't know, but not something we can butter in all. We're just peripheral personnel. Even so, I'm one of the better ones. Someone stole a letter, but left the envelope at the scene. Anyway, I promise I'll be back. And uh, this is the last time. Is there really something you say carelessly things could get quite hairy with a harbinger involved you don't support my actions either then you've done enough balance give this stuff to the agents and come back to us we can move to a place where no one knows us mm, mr balland stop hesitating make up your mind make up my mind all right i wait who are you i uh Stop changing the topic. Bolland, you don't have any options left. We're not your buddies, you hear? You're fine. I want to be with my family too. I hope I'm making the right choice. Here's Sir Arthur's head. Great, father's bag and Sir Arthur's complete. Is there anything else? You mean the treasure? Yes, I came for that, but the head was the only thing in the chest. Maybe the treasure is elsewhere. Impossible, we looked for it, and we didn't find that any treasures at the other two locations either. No, that's not right. The newspaper... Maybe Melo was just bluffing, she didn't actually put any treasure in the chests. Wait, Melo, who's that? Melo Lombroso? Uh, wait, Lombroso? Wait, Russia, your dog's called Lombroso too. Well, actually, Mel Lombroso is my wife. I took her last name, too, but she kicked me out, so I was too embarrassed to continue using it. But I miss her a lot, so I named my dog after her. Huh? Maybe it's not my place to butt in, but as a woman, I'm pretty sure she would not find this flattering. But Kevin used your husband's name. I was a problem child. What's wrong with your problem child using a problematic name? Oh, I see. So you're problematic too, Mr. Problem. Uh, just to double check. Is your wife Milo Lombroso, Dr. Moses' granddaughter? That's right. I uh, mentioned my wife came from a rich family, right? That's the Moso family. Well, what's wrong? Alright, now the relationships here are a mess. Now, I hope you are prepared to hear this. Your wife might be the culprit behind this case. Impossible. She's pure, elegant, educated. I swear, it's not possible. But all our current leads point to her. No, there was just a speculation from one person that points to her. We have no evidence. I don't believe it. I'm certain we're wrong. She could never, ever be the culprit. I think a crazy already contacted your wife. 
we're going back to the paper now. Do you want to come with us? No, there's absolutely no need because she's not a criminal. Alright, looks like you've got another problem. I think you'll find answers one day, so... And then you can be Mr. Answers. Mr. Answers. Anyway, Kevin, we need to go back and get ready to move. Okay, then. Farewell, everyone. I'll miss you. And we will find them. Um, still thinking about your wife? Hardly. There's no chance that she's the culprit after all. No, not at all. You hear? Then what are you contemplating? I'm thinking about life. Right. Also about the Mr. Answers that Kevin just mentioned. What does that mean? I don't know. Paimon, do you know? Uh, someone who's good at answering questions, maybe. Paimon has no idea. How about you, Lombroso? Who doesn't speak, instead he sits next to the man like an old friend and gazes into the distance, as if looking at their future. Alright, I guess you don't know. Hope still doesn't speak, instead he sits next to the man... Same thing. Do you really not know? Finally, the dog steals his head and looks at the man next to him as if saying, Look, I'm just a dog. Uh, but even if he doesn't believe it's her, couldn't he? He doesn't want to go there to meet her? How about you? Okay, same thing. Why give me two options? They lead to the same place. Solidify. Eh, that will do it. Things. Uh, Euphrasy, we brought Sir Arthur back and in one piece too. Thanks a million. I'll. In one piece? No, in pieces. I'll make sure Sir Arthur's taken care of. Also, there's something else. See, what if I will say? She won't be so worried about Sir Arthur that it would affect her appetite. Oh, so we only found Sir Arthur. Not that anyone got the, to the treasure ahead of us either. How can this be? So I suspect that Madame Mello might have been bluffing and trying to intimidate you. So that you reveal... Uh... Anyway, let me introduce this lady. He is Dr. Mosso's granddaughter, Madame Mello Lombroso. She only returned last night from her hometown to the Court of Fontaine. Uh, where is her hometown? So she can be the culprit. I mean, is not like post uh, another town also? She or she from elsewhere outside of Fontaine. Good day. In any case, these agents and I are acquainted. I met them when I was when I arrived at the court of Fontaine last night. What? Upon hearing about my husband's recent hardships and how he was loitering around the paper's office. I was worried he stirred up trouble, so I thought I'd come over, and that's when I happened upon them discussing something. Yes, I asked someone to verify her itinerary. There's no issues here. So if it isn't her, who the heck's the culprit? Apologies for the disruption. Today, upon hearing the news, I came here to clarify that my family never lodged any complaints with the paper about what happened 30 years ago. It was my grandfather's belief that the paper did a good job as well. Uh, thanks for yours and your family's trust. Since everything has been cleared up, I shan't stay any longer. I hope this thing bird gets to the bottom of this quickly, regardless. 
Wait, madam, there's something else I must ask you. Do you know the address of Dr. Moss's research base? Wait, so you've got the address, Madam Mello? She just asked, we don't know yet. Uh, it is you who's in trouble, miss. I would like to help, but I don't know where my grandfather's research base is. Madam Shirley, the good doctor must have mentioned it. I don't understand. If my grandfather had told me something, how could I not know? It's possible you weren't aware of some things. Allow me to explain what happened with the doctor. Now, I intend to be totally transparent with you all. Some believe that 30 years ago, it was the paper's special reporting that stirred up public opinion which led to his demise. But the truth is, those articles were not initiated by the paper, but by Dr. Mosso himself. Grandfather himself? He never mentioned this. The Marshall's Phantom Files don't, didn't include this either. Because the deal was off the books, the editor-in-chief back then, my mentor, thought that Dr. Mosso's lie detector had the potential to become a hot story. But being the first to stir things up would help the paper gain the most influence and recognition. But, but for my grandfather, how would it benefit him? Your grandfather's research had hit a bottleneck. He had no more data to feed the lie detector to study, but he needed to go further, so he planned to get data from public opinion. Right? In a way, the realm of public opinion is like a massive hub for spreading lies. Countless people are churning out true, false, accurate and inaccurate data every day. Dr. Mosso thought this lesson on dynamic evolution could surely guide his machine to another level of comprehension, and in separating truth from fiction, um, it would eventually surpass the machine's rules. But he didn't need to... Those kind of stories happen every day, he didn't have to sacrifice himself for it. So he did it for Curve. However, the doctor and my mentor both underestimated the destructiveness of public opinion. They lost control. As for what happened next, you know the story. But the key evidence that led to Dr. Moses' conviction was actually exposed by the paper, right? That evidence was actually provided by your grandfather. Couldn't they just tell the truth that they started the rumors? This wouldn't necessarily make him force him to a duel. Uh, he provided evidence to criminalize himself. How could that be possible? I'm sorry my mentor didn't tell me why Mr. Mosul would do this, but it's the truth. Who is your mentor? Sorry, editor in chief of crazy. I might need to seek confirmation from Curve regarding your words. Biological indicators detect uh, nor detect this to be normal. Extra chief of phrase is telling the truth. Relevant information retrieved. The most of protocols within my car have been modified hundreds of times. The log indicates that these modifications were made by Dr. Mosso. The most of protocols were changed a hundred times. So that means the doctor really manipulated the test results. So why would he give evidence of this to the paper? He planned to confess, but then he requested the duel, didn't he? Paimon can't make heads or tails of this, it makes no sense. He really likes the public, why? The data on this question is unresolved, my line learning module cannot provide an answer. Oh great, now Claire's become a problem robot. Dr. Moses' research base holds the answer, I can feel it, we must find it. Euphrasy, you just said that Madame Mello had the clues to the base, yes? On the eve of the duel, Dr. Moses mentioned in a message to my mentor that he will leave the base location with his beloved granddaughter. He left it to me? Yes, please try to recall, did the doctor mention anything to you before he left? I was so young then, my father wouldn't let me go to the duelist ring to see my grandfather. But the last time I saw him was the day he was detained. It was very early. 
so didn't he give you anything? All I remember is that once the duel was finished, my father brought a piece of jewelry that had been cleaned. He said that my grandfather left it for me. Perhaps the jewelry could be connected to the base? I started to ask, but could we have a look at it? I wouldn't have minded, but my good for nothing husband sold it to pay off a debt. What? So Russia gave it to... Don't worry, is this it? How did we end up with this? This is a photo of me when I was little. My grandfather took it. Really? What a coincidence. Uh, there are only photos of Madame Mello in there. According to my mentor, Dr. Mosa did leave some clues for you, Madame Mello. Let's take a look. Look, there's a line of text under the photo. Faded under the sunlight, shining under the sunlight. Faded under sunlight, shining under sunlight. What is it? Does something like that really exist? Relevant information retrieved. The different ways in which lies can exist. Different ways in which a lies can exist. My grandfather used to say that. How did you? Who are you? May I have the photo? Curve picks up the photo and rays towards the sky. The sunlight shines through the photo and falls into Curve's eyes. As though passing through 30 years in time, gradually another emer image emerges. A map. The map leading to the research base. So that's how he hit it. I had no idea that we've already found the base. When I'm mellow, maybe we... There's no need to ask. Go. And I just noticed. This special friend of yours. Good to see you again, Curve. Greetings, miss. Thank you, Madame Mello. Here's your locket. Let's go now. Well, we haven't found the person who sent the threats. Don't worry, Paimo. I think you are right in the criminal. In that the criminal doesn't have any evidence. And it's just a bluff. So, go. Find what you're looking for. Where to? New two. The basic place emerged. No wonder no one knew where it was. Yeah, it's not like Fontaine has a bunch of divers. Curve, we're all right. Moisture has sipped in the motherboard, core functionality 12%. Oh, we have to hurry. What's that? Atos Confession. A clear bottle with a nose that contains a vein from the life of someone named Atos and a strange drawing on the back. I think I need to find plenty of those to complete a quest. Confession. Atos grocery sold vegetables, kitchenware, and sewing materials. It was Atos pride and joy, but the jeweler Brent used underhanded methods to destroy both his stall and his life. Atos stabbed him to death in revenge and dumped his corpse in the Salacia Plain. To murder someone is, of course, a crime. But is the victim necessarily entirely innocent? Brent got his just desserts, while Atos will spend the rest of his life hide in hiding. Now, those who know the full story, if you are willing to help Atos get to 
the truth out, please look for the thank you gifts he has left on the beach between the waterfalls. Your kindness should be rewarded. Okay, if this quest doesn't take too long, I think I'll check that. Oh, hang on, I should... Uh, there was a critter out here. Let me... Uh, it's a new critter. Uh, Bishop and Ball Octopus. Uh. Wait, what? Hang on, what does it do? Which is to spot a strange watercolor energy hold through this continuously. No, I wanted something to fight the ones outside. There will be something that will help me fight them here. Ah, okay. right I think someone was here there were traces nearby there are traces underwater it's possible we just got the map after all true sure, let's check it out Inside your home's huge curve. Home? Hurry up, we need to find the materials ASAP. Uh, I sure hope you left behind instructions on how to fix curve, Dr. Mosso. Mosso's diary 1. Last time, I didn't want Melo to have too many snacks, so I said, You've gonna be f You're gonna be fat if you keep eating. She cried and ran away. Then her mom told me to say, you still look great <laughs> on your plump. The next day she climbed up on me and said, Grandpa, exercise. Horse right. How interesting. And this got me thinking, in, is the shortest distance between two people actually a curve? That's it. I'll name my light detector curve. Important memo about curve. One blueprint. Two serves life and core maintenance. Someone has turned out the next section. And, uh, did someone take all the material related to curve? As is possible. We came here as soon as we got the map. Let's keep looking. Maybe it ended up somewhere nearby. That's part three. Shouldn't be part two here. Nodes on base backup si systems. Uh, emergency exits are at the rear of the facility for use in case of emergency. The self destruction mechanism and cables are located within the walls. Damaging the walls is strictly prohibited. Using the aforementioned backup system, 
So we'll start on the next session. So destruction system. Looks dangerous. We can use that. Letter to the Astro Chief. Uh, dear Astro Chief, you are correct in your judgment that the matter has reached the point of no return. These last few days, I reached marchers calling for curve to be destroyed. Last night, radical students broke into my lab and tried to do just that. Luckily, I discovered them in time. However, curve is increasing is in increasing danger. I am compelled to act, and my plan is the following. I will revise the most of protocols and related data of no practical significance in Curve's score so that what remains is a sufficiently misleading trail. It will appear lie detectors are not capable of detecting lies, and that all the test results were covertly manipulated by myself. As for the ironclad evidence of fraud and deception of the public, I will leave that in your capable hands. Kindly select a date for the exposure. As soon as I am convicted, I shall propose a duel. And when I fall at, in the duelist ring, uh, I will be put to rest. I humbly request that you mobilize your paper to divert attention away from the curve. It should be, some, it should be thought of as a useless sham of a machine to be used as evidence in the case and then sealed away by the Marshal C. Phantom. There's no need to try to change my mind. I thought through every last detail, and this storm is unlikely to pass until I, the main offender, am dead. Curve is my life's work, so I can't afford any more missteps. I ask that you exchange my life for his. Everything we've done so far has been effective, and Curve's light learning module has arrived Redundant data that is incomprehensible. I believe that the seed of life has sprouted within him. You are sincerely, Mosso Lombroso. Uh, is this the secret letter between Dr. Mosso and Euphrates' predecessor? He seemed to have mentioned something important. Dr. Mosso didn't forge anything other than the forged evidence which he forged and gave to the newspaper, so he take all the beat, the heat. He wanted everyone to focus on him and let it end there. He was trying to protect Curve. That seems to be the answer. Updating light learning module. Running light learning module. Warning, motherboard temperature increasing. Warning. Warning, core functionality down to 8%. Warning. Curve, what's going on? Oh, they sure did get here fast. Guess they're cruising for cruising. Okay, let's just beat them up. Uh, where did Fatui come from? Did someone really get here before us? Curve, what's wrong? Light learning update module, warning. Uh, uh, update learning module, warning. Motorboard temperature critical. All charge. Curve, what's wrong? Ah, oh, same thing. Yeah, I, I didn't notice the first line was first. Uh, what about the path up there? Stay cool. 
cool. Face your guilt. My friend, and settle down. My work. <laughs> Finished. My way now. <laughs> this is bad. Yeah. Oh, what's that behind me? Let's move. Have a look at this. Solidify. Silence. The Bow your head. Let's begin. Yes, what's wrong? I have not taken over the cannon's control systems. Curve, are you okay? That's great. Quick fire the Fatui. Break the cannon. What an amazing fight. Uh, curses. Ah, oh, you are not easy to deal with. No wonder the Fatui are so reluctant to face you. Ah, oh, so you were the... She was right. Andrew <laughs> Jake, why are you here? How do you know about this place? Uh, you were discussing the base location so freely right in front of the paper's doors. It would have been rude of me not to take advantage of such generosity. Jake, you have dropped. I was right all along. You're the culprit. Uh, the culprit, Agent charge. Are you going to start calling uh, like Crow again? It's useless to try and deny it. You are right, indeed. I am the culprit, but I only wanted to help this moronic excuse for an agent to sort out the case. It's not like she can just write, that guy called me a crow, so he must be the culprit, or something like that in the case file. Now, can she? You... Sh hush now. How about using your brain instead of your temper for once? Surely you must still have a number of questions regarding this case, such as my motives, aren't you the least bit curious? You just wanted all Curve's research materials, didn't you? And the papers like dirty, dirty on most of faking results from back then. Oh, looks like the question was far too easy. And as for the second question, I'm merely a low-level editor. How could little old me possibly previous to such secrets at the paper? Enough. How should I know? Uh, you must have learned about it from Bollard. Bingo, it was Bollard who came knocking. That's when I realized the paper had made a serious error 30 years ago, causing the downfall of genius scientists. More importantly, isn't it truly a lamentable loss that the scientist's legacy has been buried for so long? Shouldn't the paper apologize to the general public for this? We just uncovered the truth, it was Moses' own doing. What? What do you mean? It is exposing what happened really all that you're after. Exposing? Huh? There's a much more suitable word. Judgment. People will pass judgment on the newspaper like they did Dr. Moser. The paper must take responsibility for this. How can you make yourself sound so righteous like that with a straight face? But is it not the simple truth? I'm the hero who recently exposed the conferee's fraud. The righteous and valiant jank. That's how everyone should see me, no? No, you sanctimonious scoundrel. You just want to profit from all of this. If the public starts to denounce the paper, Ashton Chief Euphrasia will be in trouble. You just won the top spot. 
Excellent, perfect. I must admit, what you imagine isn't completely wrong, so allow me to fill in a few gaps for you. I've already made a deal with Ballard's supervisor. I find Dr. Mosul's inheritance for them, and they help me take over the steam bird. Plus, Ballard's supervisor serves a real VIP, a harbinger. <laughs> Which harbinger? None of your business. Which harb... With a harbinger back? Habitus backing, your phrase you won't stand a chance, and the steam bird will be mine. Jake, just a scoping blackbird with a silver tongue. We won't let you get away with this. But you have to stay alive to do that. I'm so sorry, okay. I cannot hear anything yet. Click, an ominous sounding is echoing through the base. Oh. What is that? And the self destruction system. How perfect. It just takes a little time to get going. A big thank you to Dr. Musso for writing the instructions. And thank you everyone for giving me the time. Uh oh. Farewell, little crow, agent curve, and you two visitors from afar. Use this last moment to embrace each other. Then rest in peace as you are buried along with the truth. She practically flies out of the entrance, the door closed behind him with a heavy thud. Oh no, so he was the one who took out the materials after all. Are we going to be blown to smithereens? Calculating the survival probability of Mr. Enos, data insufficient, calculation failed. Calculating the survival probability of Ms. Paimon, data insufficient, calculation failed. Calculating probability of RG tall charge calculation successful result 1% Calculating survivability of on core module calculation successful result 1% How can this be? No 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 Inus we got to do something Can we dig our way out? So the structure cables run through the walls breaking through could lead to an early detonation as could attempting to force the door I'll do my best to protect you all of you this is all because of me again. Yet you tell charts, don't blame yourself. There's no need to worry, everyone. Because I am able to shut down the base self-destruction system. Uh, Karif, why didn't you say so early? Uh, Paimon was getting all worried for nothing. You didn't ask earlier? Well, seems like you even have a sense of humor. Now tell us what you do. Please kindly withdraw my core module and place it in the in the base's control panel. Then I will be able to open the safe room lock. There is a button that disables self-destruction destruct system inside the safe room. You mean you open the door for us, we go to the safe room and press the button inside and everything will be taken care of. That is correct. And he's probably lying. And you, Curve, can your car be removed from the control panel afterwards? I must stay connected to the control panel, otherwise safe room will relock. Seems like we should take care of the self-destruction system first. Urgent, please act fast. You can take curve score and place it on the control panel. All we need to do is deactivate the self-destruction system. Curve, will this really work? I think you might be a bit... Please take action, repeat, please take action, repeat, please take... Uh, oh, I thought he would fall on the ground or something. Like when we defeat them before they vanish. Doors the safe room opens with a light shutter. It should be fine. What? There was too much text. Tom Shard, don't stay around. Let's head to the mission's room. Is this it? It doesn't seem like a safe room. Where's the button? Where was this place? We can't see any buttons. Uh, why did the door just close? Where was going on? How do we stop the base from self-destructing? Self-destruction system cannot be deactivated. What? So are we... 
Apologies, please escape as quick as possible. Oh, that. Go in there to fix it, not to let it die. Just now. No, I need to go back my curve. Tauchar, don't be too reckless. Going back is extremely dangerous. Why? The explosion has happened already. We should be able to get back there. Yeah, there was just an explosion. It's so deep underwater. Curve wouldn't want you running right back into danger. Can they breathe underwater? You are... You're correct. I shouldn't act like this. But didn't he say the self-destruction mechanism would be shut off? He lied. He can't shut it down. His car can only open the emergency exit. So then why? His car had to be inside the control panel to open the emergency exit. But he's smart now. He knew we wouldn't leave him behind. So he lied to us. Wow, he can already think like that. Wouldn't that... When did he? It must have been Dr. Mosso's letter that made Curve understand the final question. He learned about what Dr. Mosso did for him. Turns out I'm useless after all. If only I were more confident, maybe I could have helped him break the protocols. And we wouldn't have had to come here. But the letter might just have been the final push. That's right, don't blame yourself. Curse breakthrough probably started a long time ago. His breakthrough had already started. Uh, let's say we eat a hundred slimes in one sitting and get super fat. We can't blame it on, all on the last slime. It's the same with Curve. Even if the doctor's letter was crucial, all the work you did with Curve before wasn't wasted at all. Is that really true? Well, I don't know. Curve, the question you're leaving behind, I may never understand it. Anyway, thank you. And I know what we should do next. Catch that awful scholar jank. Absolutely, definitely. He must have he must be tried for his crimes. And just like that, you and Talchard return to the corner fountain and start hunting for the dastardly jank. Surprisingly, despite several days of intense investigation, you turn up no leads. It seems like Jank had vanished. No one has seen him, nor had any negative news regarding the steambird surfaced. Up until one day, Azure and Chief Ophrae sends you a message requesting to meet in the city. That seemed kind of pointless. Hmm. Ah, you're finally here. Turns out that we don't know our own people well enough. This allowed an employee to create some serious trouble. I offer my sincerest apologies, especially to you, Agent Tal Charge. It's not your fault, you're crazy. Right now, the important thing is that we stop the odious scoundrel. By the way, you were so anxious to meet us. Is it because he contacted you? Actually, I received a message. Earlier this morning, Jank was left in the upper epicus, all dressed up, so I contacted you immediately. He's been caught? By who? We're still not sure. By the time he was found, he seemed to have lost his mind. He didn't react to any external stimuli at all. He was just kneeling on the stage of the upper epicus. He looks like a doll that had just to trial. The major gardenage folks took him in. Uh, when they examined him, they found that his tongue was missing. Whoa! Come on, that became too brutal. Too, too fast. His tongue? Oh my, that's terrifying. The major gardenage also discovered a note in his mouth. It says something to the effect of making amends to you. 
make it a means to us. You, Paimon, Tau Charge, your names were written on the paper. Seems like the person who was backing him wants to apologize to you, the three. It appears they don't want to make enemies out of you. Or maybe they feel quite strongly about what happened to Agent Curve. Those are the only possibilities I can think of. The person behind him. I remember Jenks said that he had to deal with the Fatui Harbinger, but which one? A harbinger interested in machine intelligence. How about Dr. Mosso's legacy? Jenk took all of Curve's design and research data. Gone without a trace. The righteous Jenk. That was that's what happens when you decide to go full evil. I guess this counts as him being tried for his crimes, right? So, we don't know who the judge is, so that's what happened. Though I didn't catch him personally, at least I feel like he finally paid the price for his crimes. Since some of your names are on the paper, the Mason Garden will probably want to pay you a visit. I'll go over right now and explain everything so they won't bother you. Finally, I hope the case can end here. No, I hope you can rebuild Curve. Wait, Agent Talchard, would you mind going back to the newspaper with me? Why are you crazy? If you want to convince me to write your friend's column, <laughs> it's not happening. Still in a multi joke, you see? That makes me feel much better. Let's go. But I wasn't joking at all, you know. I will work very hard to do my best in the Marshall's final. That's wonderful, Tala Charge. I'm almost happy for you. Please have a look. We fixed me, Sir, Sir Arthur. Oh, it's Sir Arthur. We almost forgot about it. Good job. Sir Arthur sure has been through a lot. By the way, Paimon still doesn't know what kind of bird Sir Arthur is. A sting bird. A pelican. Pelican, you mean the kind of bird that's an amazing eater? Yeah, there should be some pelicans around. But why would the sting bird's mascot be a pelican? That doesn't seem like it has anything to do with the newspaper at all. No, but it looks fancy. Like that. I'm not clear on that either. It was a decision my mentor made after the incident with the Dr. Maybe he left its cutter. Maybe he felt it's cuter than, say, a crow or blackbird that squawks all day long. Uh, hey, you crazy. You know you kind of resemble a pelican hiding food in its pouch right now. Uh, anyway, Agent Tal Charge, do you remember how Agent Curve and I interviewed nearby residents at the start of the case? Of course, you took the opportunity to blow our cover. Uh, truly sorry about that, but that, will, that was when I asked him, what kind of person is Agent Telecharge? What? Pamela remembers, your phrase came back and commissioned us right away. Were you all by Telecharge's brilliant track record? Why don't we check with Sir Arthur on that? During the repairs, I added what Agent Curve said to Sir Arthur's voice library as a memento. Oh, quickly, tell us what Curve says, Sir Arthur. Based on my analysis, Agent Tal Charge will be the best agent in the Marshall Sea Phantom. Really? I'll be the best? But would Curve really have said something like that back then? Maybe back then, he already learned to... No, that was based on... This could be true in the future. Yeah, that's gotta be it, Salashard. Since you were Curve's handler, you must be the one who, f who fed him the first 99 slimes. That seems to be the answer. No, they were saying that it's lying. Aren't we? Well then, Curve, 
I will do. I will be the best agent in Marshall's Phantom. Extra, extra. Instant Polaris Pneumonia. Is the Blonde Traveler involved? What? Very short source. The Blonde Traveler and their companion who is investigating the serial disappearance of young king. A young woman case have been arrested by the Mason Gardenage and sent to the fortress of Merapit. Ah, oh, you still want that? The Mason Ordinal has charged them with crimes comparable to attempt assassination of Lady Farina, leading to all sorts of speculation about the truth. How will this sudden turn of events affect Fontaine? Get this special issue for the latest information on the Brilliant Star. Hmm. Okay, I like to do something else, but not something that takes too long. No, I'm not sure. Should I try this quest? Should I try to check back on Rose? On Roche? Uh, I don't have the part of the map that... Hang on, we can come... Ah, oh, there is the... Oh, let's open the, the part of the map. I won't get that quest, but let's open the part of the map. Let's check that. What? Oh, uh, we can teleport by the Dex building. There again, that was Just look for thank you gifts has left on the beach between the waterfalls. Isn't there waterfalls all around here? Ah, I think this that's a beach. Tea is ready. Now it's time for a short rest. a quest I think that's okay let's avoid that distant harbor added to the archive wouldn't this harbor actually be the closest one that the others use
Oh. Ah, is that Stormtrooper's lair? Yeah. I think you'll be there. Beach. The beach between the waterfalls. Yeah. Let the record show that I verbally consent to relinquishing these items into your possession. Oh, okay. It was probably when I upgraded the statue. Yeah. Okay, not important. Uh, uh, confession. Uh, clear bottle with a note that contains events from life of Someone read after and a strange drawing on the back of all the post paper for treasure left behind. Uh, that's the same thing. I, I guess it just updated, it didn't really. I thought this would be a treasure quest. One thing will reach another, will reach another, and then the end will cover the truth. Ah, I didn't notice they're from New Way. <laughs> well, I got the Narcissus Cross quest here, but this could be like 10 minutes of dialogue or 3 hours continuing. The, their quest. I think this will be longer because I got the three of them there, so it's probably continuing to the end of the quest. So yeah, I'm not gonna do that now. Uh, yeah, I think that's good for now. And then next time I play, I'll start the Archon quest. All right, and I'm. Oh, hang on, one more thing before I'm out. Ofarina, please. No. Alright, none there. That's 11 days plenty. Alright, now I'm out.